Hello! Welcome to Rachel's Recipes! Guys, I have peppers in my garden that needed to be cooked, used, and stuffed. I even grew bell peppers. So I have taken, and, some, and they're smaller than the ones you would find at the store, but that's okay. All right, so listen, I've got, um, I've taken the tops off, and I've got some onion, and then I've got a little bit of red pepper, because I had a little of that in my refrigerator to use. I chopped it up nice and fine, and I've got it cooking in a little oil back here. I'm going to stuff my bell peppers with <clears throat> cooked bison. I like, anytime I need to use ground beef, I use ground bison. It's so much healthier for you. It costs a little more, but I think it's, it's totally worth it. Um, instead of using regular rice, I'm using shirataki rice, okay, because this is low carb, and that's what I want to do. My secret ingredient, <sighs> secret. <laughs> is cheese. I like to add um, a little bit of cheese. So I add a little bit of sharp cheddar and then I put a little Velveeta um, on top, right, the last 15 minutes and it just gets gooey and melts on top and you want it to be brown and bubbly like, oh yes, yes, yes. First you want to boil in a little um, salted water to soften it up for a minute. Um, then lastly, into a, pan, a little pan, I use this roasted um, red pepper and tomato soup as a base and um, to pour a little on top. Yeah. So my veggies are over here. They look nice. You don't have to do the veggie part. I like to. I love the taste of the bell pepper when it's with the with the um, the, the bison. It's it's so delicious. And so um, and sometimes I feel like I don't get enough when I when I'm eating it with the bell pepper. So I like to cook it into the meat. I'm going to add the bison and I'm going to let that cook up and we'll be right back. Okie dokie. So ground bison with the little veggies. I'm going to add a little salt and pepper and um, a little Worcestershire and um, stir it up and um, Put it back on the heat. I'm gonna add my um, shirataki. Now, shirataki rice, this is, it's, um, it, you don't need to cook it. It's not like normal rice. It's just like, I mean, it's already soft, but it has absolutely zero flavor. So into the pot it goes and we'll be back. Okay, guys, I've taken it um, off of the stove top and um, here is my baking dish where I've poured a little of the tomato red pepper tomato boxed soup I added a little salt and pepper to it I'm gonna also take some of this because I've got more than enough for these peppers and I'm gonna throw a little in the bottom yeah yeah all right and um, let's see my little peppers a little salt yeah? Yeah. Okay. Taste it. If it doesn't, if it tastes like it needs salt or, or you know, more something, add it. You don't want to overstuff either. You don't want them to be too tight. Um, just fill it up. There you go. Oh, look at this cute little baby. <laughs> oh, you know what? I forgot to put the cheese. Out it goes. <laughs> All right. Adding in some <clears throat> shredded sharp cheddar. So there's some cheese throughout, right? Yum. Okay, I knew it looked different. All right, get my pepper back and in it goes. And then we're gonna put some more cheese the last 15 minutes on top. All right, into my dish, into the soup. Okay, let's do a big boy. Yum, I haven't had stuffed bell peppers in ages. So much fun. And you know, the shirataki rice and the bison, it, you know, these are just things that use substitutions. It's healthier choices in life. You know, you can still have what you love and, um, you know, maintain your, your low weight or lose weight, whatever it is you're trying to do. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a healthy meal. Okay, next little pepper. 
Okay. Oh, I love these little peppers. You know, that's so sweet because I grew these myself and I washed them. Every day I'd go outside and I'd say, okay, thank you for growing. Thank you, Lord, for blessing me with all this goodness. You're not ready yet. We'll wait a little longer. Okay, another little guy. Okay, don't fall over. <laughs> I've got my oven behind me preheated to 350. Um, I'm just going to pop them in. And, um, you know, you want everything just to, I don't know, 30 minutes at least, right? Everything is already cooked. You know, if you were going to do regular rice and it was, you know, I don't know, maybe it, it'd be all be different. Of course, back when I used to use regular rice, I, I believe I cooked it on the stovetop with... Um, the meat in it. Uh, I used to put them in, I think many years ago I did these different, but um, anyway, this is how I do them now. Everything is cooked, you stuff it in, but you just want everything to melt and get beautiful and um, all the flavors to, to bind together. All right. There we go. Nice. All right. I'm going to take a little of the soup from the bottom and I'm just going to pour it on top so things have some of the goodness. There we go. Really, this is going to be so good. What a treat. All right. Mm. I have these little, these are the tops to the peppers. Look at this one. Look at that. It's like a little pepper growing on the side. Isn't, isn't that beautiful? I love stuff like that. Imperfection to me is perfection. I'm going to put these in here. Yeah, why not? They'll be cute to uh, for presentation, for pictures, to put on top. Yes, maybe. We'll see. Then my Velveeta. I might be a Texas girl, but I love I, <laughs> their Velveeta. It has lots of uses. Anyway, this will go at the end. Okay. Into the oven you go. See you later, alligator. You too, guys. We'll be back. Hello, my friends. Hello. I've taken the peppers out. I am pouring some of the yummy soup at the bottom on top. Oh, they look so good. They've been in there, I don't know, probably about at least 20 minutes. Mmm. Yeah, you just want to keep them moist and happy. Um, here we go. And now I'm going to put that cheese on top, and that's it. And this is the last 15 minutes. This is my, my I like Velveeta. I don't know if that's a Texas thing or what. Um, but put your cheese on top and just let it melt and get all gooey. And then in the very end, if you want to put um, the broil on, if, it, it'll just like make it pop in dark brown and spots like bubbles. Ooh, good stuff. All right, back into the oven. All right. Voila. <laughs> 